Boeing has changed the specifications of its upcoming 777-8, part of the 777-X, as noted by Max Kingsley-Jones, a senior consultant at Serium. The 777-X series has made headlines recently thanks to the persistent certification delays. The 777-9 is expected to be the first to enter service in 2025, with the 777-8 and the 8F, the newly announced freighter variant, to eventually follow. However, as part of the refinement to the program, it has been noted that specification changes as published on the Boeing website mean the 777-8 has undergone a 3 foot 6 inch or 1.1 meter frame stretch. This has seen it move from 229 foot or 69.8 meters to 232 foot 5 inches or 70.9 meters. While the changes to the 777-8 may seem minimal, they're a noticeable step in closing the gap between it and the 777-8F, the dedicated freighter that was announced and has enjoyed much success since its official launch. Previously, before the 777-8 adjustments, the freighter variant per only specifications had a longer fuselage, and while only minimal, it would very quickly cause some potential issues internally, maybe regarding production, certification, and more. This was according to analysts' opinions on the matter. The realignment of the 777-8 to seamlessly work with the 777-8F is a necessary step, Boeing believes, for the greater good of the program. Is such a change, though, a shock? Well, not necessarily, and you may ask why. Well, discussions around the possibility of the 777-8's specifications were never all that final. Following the Dash 8F's launch, there were murmurs Boeing may look to close the gap between the passenger and freighter variants. Now, having been subtly revealed, it's believed to be a logical step as told by many. What does the change mean? Well, there'll also be internally an additional 11 seats applied to the Dash 8, with capacity now reaching 395 passengers, up from the previously 384 in a typical capacity. Capacities, though, very generally on aircraft types, including your 777X series, should only be used as an indication of the plane's capabilities. Factors such as configurations for respective customers will play a role in the final total with each airline. On a very minor level, there has also been an increase in the total range. A 15 nautical mile or 20 kilometer increase is reflected on the company website too. Even with the changes to the 777-8, Boeing has continued very much to struggle to sell this variant to customers. When taking a look at Sirium data, the 777-X has orders and options closing in on 400. However, of the 383 total commitments, the 777-8 passenger variant only exceeds 20 orders and options. So the 777-8F, yes, the freighter variant has been a success thus far, and while the program is in its early stages, considering it is yet to fly with passengers, Boeing still has struggled to really sell that smallest variant. However, selling the smallest variant of a series has actually been in wider problem of late especially looking at Airbus and their A330neo, which has encountered sizable struggles with the smallest Dash 800 being pitched to airlines, but on a continued basis being turned down. Customers really go for the middle ground Dash 900. What are your thoughts on Boeing very subtly making changes to the 777 8? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll fly.